it's me Yanni, and today I'm finally starting my new sketchbook. I'm using a simple Canson one this time around, and as you can see, we're already off to a great start because I couldn't get these darn stickers off, they left so much residue. It's seriously one of my biggest pet peeves, but in the end, I did get it all off. My last sketchbook only had stickers on the cover, so I wanted to do something a little more fancy this time around, and I whipped out my whole bang gouache. So I guess the concept for the sketchbook is kind of random. <laughs> I wanted to basically just draw someone with like weird hand poses because one of my main goals for the sketchbook is to draw more hands because I kind of suck at it, you know. Um, <laughs> I have like some half knowledge that I kind of apply to all the hands that I draw, but most of it is probably wrong. So let's make mistakes on the cover and hope to fix them in the process of filling the sketchbook. <laughs> The cover of this Kansen sketchbook was surprisingly nice to paint on. It isn't entirely smooth, so it has a very slight texture that is almost fabric-like. It's a bit difficult to explain, but the paint was able to grab onto it really well, uh, which is good because in the past I did have some sketchbooks where the paint wouldn't stick, it was like the cover was repelling it and I would have to go in with so many layers. But this was very easy, very relaxed, so I had a blast painting this. Um, I wanted to go for a bit of more like a edgy vibe, <laughs> I guess, with this sketchbook because my last one was more cutesy. So uh, I came up with this character who I lovingly call Bloodmila. <laughs> so she's this, she, she isn't a vampire, but she could be one from her looks. Um, it looks like she got into a fight, like her nose is bleeding and stuff. She's got this red hair, badass earrings, cool piercings and stuff. I wish, by the way, <laughs> that I was brave enough to get cool piercings like that, but I'm terrified of needles. So I guess I'm gonna have to live vicariously through my drawing here, but um, I think she's pretty cool. She's the mascot of the sketchbook now. I already wrote a list of goals for the sketchbook of stuff that I want to achieve and try out. Those of you who saw the sketchbook tour I just recently uploaded will know that I downsized quite a bit with this one. My last sketchbook was A4 sized and this one is only half the size and that has to do with one of my goals. I would really like to carry the sketchbook around with me everywhere, just how I used to because a couple of years ago you could not catch me outside without my sketchbook and a small pencil pouch with some essential art supplies and uh, like back then I used to sketch a lot more than I do now and using a much larger sketchbook kind of made me realize how much I missed it so that's the first goal for this sketchbook number 17 uh, take it everywhere with you and draw as much as possible then uh, my second goal wait oh let me grab my little post-it here is to draw more dudes this is a big one because I only draw girls I've never drawn a lot of dudes, uh, even when I was very young, I always drew princesses and fairies and mermaids and I mean, even right now I'm painting a girl on the cover of my sketchbook and I don't believe that I will ever prefer drawing guys over girls. I, I mean, never say never, right? You don't know. But even in the past when I set the same goal for myself, I never really went through with it all that much, you know, I drew a couple of half-assed dudes and then I went back to drawing all the girls. So I have a plan this time, a solid plan to <laughs> motivate myself. So I'm gonna try to do a crap ton of fan art in the sketchbook and draw some of my favorite male characters and see uh, if that can get me to draw more guys. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But that actually ties directly into my next goal for the sketchbook, make more fan art. I haven't done a lot of fan art over the past couple of years like I used to do it a lot more and then I kind of fell off I don't even know why but actually making fan art is so much fun and I miss doing it so I really really want to get back into it um let's see what's the next one here uh, mixed media I want to do more mixed media experimenting like using different kinds of paints and uh, color pencils and stuff. Uh, in my last couple of sketchbooks, I mainly stuck to pencil and occasionally some watercolor, but I want to do more of the gouache, the acrylic paint, and maybe even do some collage type stuff, who knows. I'm not even exactly sure why, but I think I've been sort of holding myself back with some of my last sketchbooks that I used, and I didn't enjoy the process of working in a sketchbook anymore at least not as much as I used to, just because I didn't 
do everything that I really wanted to do. Like there was this mental blockade and I mean, screw that, right? Let's just, let's just have fun. Whip out all the mediums. Now let's get into some more technical stuff. As I already mentioned before, I want to draw more hands and I also, let's just add that on to that, draw more feet because they are my mortal enemies. <laughs> I know drawing hands is difficult, but like feet, whole other level. Like, I can wrap my head around these weird blobs. And I want to study more perspective because I think that's something that I'm really missing to level up my art a bit more. I want to include more interesting angles and stuff, so that's that. And the last point I wrote down here is have fun because I think I've been missing out on the have fun aspect a little bit. Maybe because I've been working on my portfolio and I was like, oh, I need to take this seriously, blah, blah, blah. But like, I'm... I I'm here for fun. I'm, I wouldn't be here right now if art wasn't fun, so let's make it as fun as possible. And that's it for my list of goals for my 17th sketchbook. I'm really curious to see how, I guess, closely I will stick to these by the end of the sketchbook. I mean, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess my general vibe for this whole project going into it is just to... Um, stop myself from putting unnecessary limitations on myself. As I mentioned before, I I haven't really been doing everything that I wanted to do. And I think that partly was just because I had this weird notion in my head that was like, oh, this isn't what your art is supposed to be, so you can't do that. Or why would you waste your time on doing something like this if you could do that? And by that, I was just kind of stunting my growth. And I wasn't branching out or experimenting as much, which is one of the things that makes art really enjoyable for me. So yeah, it's I, I'm still like thinking about this um, and trying to figure out what exactly like caused this mindset for me. Uh, maybe I'll actually make a video on that. I, I've been like collecting my thoughts on this whole thing because uh, it has been like kind of a real struggle for me. And I would really like to avoid falling into a similar trap again in the future. And uh, actually I've talked to some uh, of my artist friends in the past who have told me they felt like a similar thing, but it's really difficult to describe this like mental mental blockade that you put on yourself so maybe that will be interesting to explore in a video on its own if any of you guys have had similar experiences too then feel free to leave them in the comments i'd be really curious to read about that and um yeah i guess <laughs> let's just move on from this topic and get back to the actual painting that i'm doing on the cover here I'm pretty much done with blocking in all the colors and doing all the details and now it's time to do the lettering. <laughs> I didn't want to put too much thought into this, I kind of just went straight in after doing a quick sketch with a pencil on the cover. Um, so I just wrote out the title of the sketchbook, Sketchbook 17 with a gouache and um, did it in kind of like a loose lettering style. I've done something that looks quite similar on a previous sketchbook and I loved how that turned out, so I decided to do it again with our lovely Miss Blood Mila here. <laughs> and that's pretty much everything I did for the cover. Um, oh, and I forgot to film this, but I actually ended up sealing the cover with um, a spray sealant. I used MSC, Mr. Super Clear, to just protect the paint because I didn't want it to chip off or anything. Um, it's been about a week since I filmed this footage and the corners uh, of the sketchbook did chip like a little bit, but the painting itself uh, is mostly fine. So I think <laughs> that was a good call. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this chill painting video. I had a blast painting this cover and um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the sketchbook will bring. If you would like to see more of my art, you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube handle, at Candiani. I'm also taking commissions again. I currently have two open slots, so if you're interested, feel free to send me a DM over there. And I hope that all of you have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next one. And until then, bye bye!